Assalamu alaikum dear viewers, I am Shobha Madayo again here with another informative video related to the electrical engineering. Today we are going to perform the simulation regarding the measurement of the electrical power in the DC circuit and also the measurement of the power factor and the electrical power in the purely resistive AC circuits. So before doing the simulation, let's discuss the, what is electrical power. So electrical power is the product of the voltage and the current in the DC circuits. While talking about the AC circuits, so we have to include the power factor in the AC circuits. So what is the power factor? The power factor is defined as the cosine phi angle between the voltage and current is called the power factor or the power factor is the ratio of the resistance over impedance in the AC circuit is called as the power factor or it is the ratio of the true power or the real power or the active power divided by the apparent power is called the power factor and the power electrical power is to be measured in the electrical circuit with the help of the watt meter. So before wasting time let's do the simulation. So dear viewers this is our first circuit which is the simple DC circuit. Now we have to connect the watt meter with this circuit to measure the electrical power okay. So this is the emitter so which shows the amount of the current uh, which is to be flowing in this circuit and this is the voltmeter which is connected in parallel across this uh, uh, resistor and this is the 24 volts DC supply. Now we need to simulate this uh, circuit in this multisim software. So this is the multisim software. We require the DC voltage source okay and also we need the resistor you can take from this okay we need the watt meter watt meter is given from this bar this is the watt meter okay now also we require the m meter only shows the amount of the current which is flowing in the circuit and also we need the volt meter okay now what is the value 500 ohm resistor and the 24 volts DC supply we are giving so change the value of the resistance 500 ohm and we are applying the 24 volts DC okay now connect this emitter this now this is the volt uh, watt meter okay you can see this is the uh, ampere meter and this is the volt meter now connect the ampere meter in series with the load okay so this is the load as you can see okay now this can be connected with the negative of supply and also we are going to connect the volt meter in parallel so the volt meter in parallel can be connected with this and this is connected with this and also we need the ground okay the ground is connected now if you want to connect the uh, voltmeter in parallel so negative terminal with the ground now this will give us the electrical power consumed by this circuit with the help of this watt meter. Now start the simulation and now you can see this is the power 1.152 watts is consumed by this circuit. This is the electrical power consumed by this circuit when we are applying the 24 volts DC and our volt, uh, load is 500 ohm and this is the voltage okay which is measured with the help of this voltmeter and this is the current which is flowing through this circuit which is the 0.048 ampere. Now this is the simulation of this circuit that uh, how much power is consumed by this circuit. Now here the wattmeter shows the 1.152 watts. Okay. Now we can also uh, verify these results with the help of the mathematical formulas. If we have a given values for 24 volts DC and 500, vo 500 ohm uh, load, so we can also find out the electrical power consumed by this circuit with the help of mathematical formula. So, see this, this is a circuit. Now, 
the power in the dc circuit is that the product of the voltage and current okay now the current we can easily find out that we have it, uh, according to the ohms law the i is equal to v over r v over r so v is the 24 volts okay and the uh, 500 ohm is the resistance so by dividing the voltage and the current so that we are taking the current value which is 0.048 ampere okay so now put the value of this current in the expression of the power in the dc circuit p is equal to vi so voltage is the 24 volts multiplied by current is 0.048 ampere so again the power which is consumed by this circuit is 1.152 watts so this is also the verification of uh, the uh, electrical power consumed by this circuit with the help of this formula and also we have um, uh, verify or measure the or observe the results of the uh, what uh, watts which is to be consumed by this circuit uh, with the help of this uh, multi sim software and also we have measured the value of the current and the voltage and the power which is consumed by this circuit also we have uh, verify uh, these um, simulation result with the help of this mathematical uh, formulas so dear viewers this was the uh, simulation of the electrical power measurement in the uh, dc circuit okay with the help of the multi sim software so dear viewers let's do another simulation of this pure resistor ac circuit so as you can see the circuit diagram now this circuit diagram we need to draw in the multi sim software to observe the uh, watt meter to uh, to observe the electrical power measurement with the help of this watt meter consumed by this uh, pure resistive ac circuit so uh, the supply voltage is the 220 volts the frequency is 50 hertz and the load which is connected with the pure resistive with this uh, voltage source is the 500 ohm so let's draw the circuit in the multi sim software to observe the power consumed by the uh, this pure resistive circuit with the help of this watt meter okay so again we need the ac power source okay and also we need the resistor okay we need the resistor and again we need the ac emitter okay and also we need again the ac voltmeter and also we need the wattmeter which give us the reading of the electrical power consumed by this circuit okay now the value of the resistor is 500 ohm and the voltage is 220 volts ac so change the value of the resistance 500 ohm now the voltage is 220 volts and the frequency is 50 hertz okay now connect this uh, and also we need the ground okay now connect this emitter in series with this so supply voltage and also the this emitter of the wattmeter is connected in series with this load okay and uh, connect the ground okay with this negative terminal of the supply voltage now connect the voltmeter in parallel with this load side and again you can easily again uh, connect this voltmeter in parallel digital voltmeter in parallel okay now change this uh, measurements now this is dc measurement now select the ac this will give us the ac current and this will give us the ac voltage reading okay now this is the wattmeter okay this will give us the power factor value and the uh, wattage which is to be consumed by this resistive ac circuit so now run the simulation observe the results so now as you can see uh, this is the uh, power consumed by this ac circuit 
which is the I think 97 almost 97 words okay and the power factor is the one why power factor is the one because the, this is the pure resistive circuit so in the pure resistive circuit the current and voltages both are in uh, in phase to each other so obviously the power factor of this circuit is the unity or the one as you can see the watt meter uh, measures the power factor one and the wattage which is consumed by this uh, uh, resistive circuit is the 97 watts now uh, let's uh, verify these results with the help of the mathematical formulas that uh, here the current which is to be flowing in the circuit is 0.44 ampere and the voltage this is given uh, with the help of this uh, voltmeter okay now observe the these results of the wattage and the power factor uh, through the mathematical formulas so so according to the formula for calculating the power in the ac circuit is that p is equal to vi cosine of phi where cosine phi over here is the power factor so the power factor in the resistive circuit is the one cosine phi is one why because the current and voltage is both are in phase to each other so again if you want to measure the current in this uh, circuit so according to the ohms law i is equal to v over r so what is the v 220 volts okay and the current uh, sorry with the uh, 500 ohm is the resistance so put the values in the formula so you are getting the 0.44 ampere so again this is a 0.44 ampere current is to be flowing in the circuit so this is the simulation result and this is the mathematical uh, expression result now uh, put the values of the voltage and current in the power factor and the power formula to calculate the power consumed by this resistive circuit so p is equal to vi cosine of phi now where the cosine of phi is one in the case of the resistive circuit because this is the resistive circuit so now uh, v is the 20, 220 volts and the current uh, which is to be measured by this ammeter is the 0.44 ampere as you can see this is 0.44 ampere and the power factor is the one so power factor is the one so uh, the power uh, value of the power consumed by this resistive electrical circuit uh, AC circuit is the 96.80 watt so as you can see almost this is the 96 or 97 uh, voltage which is to be consumed by this resistive AC circuit so dear viewers this was the simulation of the pure resistive circuit which we have done in the multi-sim software and observe the results of the power which is consumed by this uh, uh, AC resistive circuit and also we have uh, uh, analyzed the power factor uh, value which is the unity because this is the pure resistive circuit. So this was the simulation of the pure resistive AC circuit. I hope that you have understand this simulation. So dear viewers this was the experiment related to the electrical power measurement in the DC circuits and also we have uh, measured the electrical power and the power factor in the pure resistive AC circuit. Uh, using multi-sim software and also we have verified the results with the help of the mathematical formulas. Uh, I hope that you have enjoyed the today's experiment and at the last do subscribe my YouTube channel Shoebe Madayo for more informative videos related to the electrical engineering area. Thank you.